Alright guys, tutorial number 43, and in this lesson, of course, if you guys couldn't predict, I'm going to be coding this while chatting method. Now what this method does is now that we waited for a connection, we're connected to someone in our streams or pathways to connect to them and they can connect to us, our setup, this is the code that you write whenever or pretty much this is the code that's going to be running during your conversation with them. So I'll just put like um during the uh okay wow messing up already that's freaking great during the chat conversation so again what we did is we named this private void while chatting and this is gonna throw an IO exception. Alright, so the first thing we want to do is we want to give a prompt that says, okay, you are now connected, you can now start the conversation. So let's go ahead and code a simple uh, variable string message equals you are now connected. Um, I don't know. I guess that's good for now. Okay, it says you are now connected. So now what we want to do is to display this on the screen. We actually have to call the method that we didn't create yet. Send message, and all this does is it sends it so it displays on the screen. Message. So now once you're connected and you can start typing, it says, okay, you are now connected. Just a prompt on the screen. So the next thing we need to do is we need to change able to type which is another method we have to create equal to true so remember like I told you guys before right up in our constructor we disabled um, the users ability to type set editable false when they were not connected to someone else well now obviously this method is only going to be called while chatting when you are connected to someone else so it would probably be a good idea to, <laughs> to you know let the user type or else this program would be kind of a waste so what this method is going to do we're going to create this method and this method later on but it's going to allow the user to type stuff into that text box so now what we need to do is during the conversation we're going to be putting everything into a do while loop now you guys probably thought that you never ever would use a do while loop but this is one instance where you would use use one so you pretty much want to do something or have a conversation while pretty much the client wants to while you both want to so what we're going to do is we're going to listen for a message from the client and this is how you uh, look at strings equal to client and in as soon as you start the program and start having a conversation then this is going to make more sense but basically if they ever want to you know stop talking to you for some reason I don't know maybe you're boring not interesting then they can send you the message e N D. So if the user types E N D and sends you that message, then the program is going to stop. So basically, you're going to have a conversation with them, and whenever they want to end it, just type E N D, and then it breaks out of this loop and it ends the conversation. So first of all, let's go ahead and code the method to have a conversation because unfortunately, it's a little bit more in depth than just just this little comment that says have a conversation right here we actually need to put this in a try catch statement so try and guys this is only like two line of code so you know don't think I'm gonna do anything too confusing alright class not found exception class not found exception that's why I freaking hate catch statements because I usually have typos in all of them and now I just want to show a message and hopefully we will never see this message so show message and we'll just put like something uh, I don't know new line um, I don't know WTF that user sent so basically whenever um, they send us some information it's going to be an object which is you know hopefully going to be a string but if they send some weird uh, I don't know maybe some weird object that we can't understand then it's not going to be able to find the class it's not going to understand 
what that object is and it's not going to be able to show it as a string but anyways um, hopefully we should never see this unless the user you know tries to hack us or something so what we're going to do first is we want to get whatever message that they sent and again guys like I said 100% of the time it's going to be a string something like hey dude or um, like what's up something like that so they're going to type something normal into their stream and the stream we want to treat it as a string so of course this the um what we want to read from them we're just going to store in the variable message and we'll set this equal to a string and let me go ahead and type this first and I'll explain it to you guys input read object there we go already typed for me so again remember I'll start from you know the inside and work my way out the input is the stream or the socket where they can send stuff to us where we have things coming in so again the things that I'm talking about is their message that they typed so whenever they send you something what we're gonna do is it views it as an object such as you know just you know you can have objects of a bunch of different classes hopefully their message is a string so what we're gonna do is basically read whatever message they typed whatever message is coming into us and you know make sure that it's a string and then we're gonna store it in the variable message so now this variable message is hopefully equal to something like hey Bucky what's up or what are you doing tonight so now all we have to do guys easiest thing ever is to show this or display it to us so so message and every message is good if you ever you know typed on Facebook or something every message is on a new line so just go ahead and put new line first and that'll make sure that it's on a new line and doesn't look like one long message plus message so again to recap one last time again we're getting errors because we didn't uh, create these methods yet but these methods take like you know five minutes to create so when you are chatting or during your chat the first thing and I have a little typo right now you are connected the first thing that you do whenever you know that you're good to type it's gonna say you are connected so once you're connected to someone else it's gonna run this loop as long as the user doesn't type end once they type end then your conversation is over the program shuts down but while you're having a conversation you're gonna try to read the messages from them as soon as it reads a message from them it's gonna display on your screen on a new line because every message that you send or they send should be on a new line now if they send something stupid or if we mess something up that you know maybe um they're sending an object that we can't convert to a string for some reason this little message should pop up says I don't know WTF that user sent and that should be a T and hopefully we will never see this but again with a try have to have a catch so you know there you go but anyways thank you guys for watching in the next tutorials what we can do is we need to code one more housekeeping method called close crap which is basically gonna shut down um, you know whenever you disconnect with someone you have to close down the streams and the sockets all that housekeeping stuff and we're gonna be coding the show message and able to type method and then I think we're able to you know start this baby up and test it but anyways thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video